Hey guys, Delloc here. No, wait, this isn't Delloc. <laughs> this is Polo Man 212? Are you kidding me? Polo Man 212? Yeah, guys, I know. I know you're disappointed. You don't hear that nice Delloc 212 here. You, but but this is Polo Man, and we're going to bring you a great Model for 3 video that you have been waiting for instead of all that Minecraft and Pokemon stuff that you've been watching. Alright, guys, so... Uh, I don't know what to talk about really, but I think I'm going to talk about the gameplay first, and we'll see what goes on from there. So, this gameplay is pretty old. I had uh, Sean record this for me a couple weeks ago, actually. I'm just getting around to this commentary now. I'm lazy. But anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure I was like 4th prestige when this happened, and I had just prestige. But it's pretty good gameplay. I'm, oh yeah, okay, yeah, Let's see, alright, I was 4th prestige when this happened, I'm pretty sure, and now I'm 8th prestige, I play too much, I have no life, no, I'm just kidding, but, but, um, yeah, I'm 8th prestige now, it's not hard to prestige that much, guys, in this game, mile for 3, it's pretty easy, um, I think if you just, I don't know, I think, you should probably just play with guns that you're comfortable with, I know you need to, like, uh, practice with other guns, but once you get those guns that you really like, you should just use those guns and only those guns, because then it'll be easier for you to level up and get high scoring games and get all that experience and everything you need to make Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare fun. I said that backwards. And a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Explain what happened about that. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'll make this. This is gonna be what the video is gonna be about. Motivational speakers all right so the other get the other get the other yeah, day yeah. <laughs> uh i'm in high school um uh, I'm, I'm a sophomore right but our school uh we had a mod a motivational speaker come in and i'm pretty sure most of you guys should know what that is but if you don't know what a motivational speaker is that's somebody that goes on the stage or they go up somewhere and they talk to people and they motivate them to like just do stuff or make them feel better about themselves or something and you know so this guy Josh Ship pretty cool dude I guess you know that it was pretty good I'm gonna tell you about this he came to our school and he gave us a motivational speech but you know I really don't even think it was a speech half of it was actually him just being like telling jokes and that was kind of the cool part about it you know it wasn't somebody somebody just being up there like he also does like he was like when he was in high school he said that somebody just went up on the stage and was like be your best <laughs> and he's like no that's not a motivational speaker and you know that's actually how most motivational speakers are but this guy was really cool you know he went up there and he i honestly thought he could have probably been more of a comedian because like he was just telling all these jokes but i guess with the stuff that went with it was kind of motivation but it, it was really cool. Uh, he was just telling all these jokes. And this one thing he was talking about earlier when I said and a goat. He said that. Okay. I never really got this either. He just said that every day we should have tried to incorporate and a goat. in just randomly into our sentences when we talk at least twice <laughs> a day. And I don't really get it. I don't get if that's supposed to like motivate us. Or just make us feel good about ourselves. Or maybe, I, I don't know, but I do that anyway. Every once in a while, I just feel like, and a goat. Because, I don't know, it's cool. And he told me to. He's like starting his own revolution. He's going to get into people's minds. And he's going to make people talk about goats. And then when he was when he was talking about goats and and a goats, he kind of made me think about White Boy and his whole thing with goats. I wonder if that's like the new thing. One day you're just going to see everywhere goats. It's all about the goats. On the billboards. Yeah, so that's all about it. Motivational speakers, you know, he was up there just talking, telling his jokes pretty good. Um, I thought he was more famous. I was kind of searching up, and, like, there was stuff about him being a motivational speaker, but there wasn't too many things. Like, I went to YouTube. He has his own channel. He has some videos he posted, but he hasn't posted a video in, like, two years. But there was also just uh, short clips about uh, him going to other schools. And that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so the and the goat thing. He was he was telling other things about 
motivation. He told about himself, and it wasn't a whole, like, book about his life story, but he gave some stuff about it. It was kind of sad. Um, I guess he, uh, what, he was, like, born, but his parents left him at the hospital, so he was, like, an orphan his whole life. Um, but then finally when he was like a teenager, he got a foster parents and they believed in him and that made him believe in himself And he's like, uh, I don't know. He went to some big college What was it? Stanford yes, Harvard. Stanford or Harvard. I oh, know. I think it was Stanford. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think that was Stanford But he turned his life awesome and now he motivates uh teenagers uh, that's his main thing too and hold on i'm gonna talk about the game real fast on the top right you just saw that i went to corporal but instead of showing the fourth prestige emblem it just showed like the two uh triangles on top of each other i think that's like a theater mode thing i think like for whatever reason even though you're a certain prestige if you level up it just makes it see right yeah. there I, th I think that's just a theater mode thing theater mode's stupid. but anyway yeah so that's what see now I just lost my train of thought. I don't remember. You're Randall, like Randall, Randall. Child yeah. Child, child, childhood. Teenager. I don't know. Yeah, oh that's right. He mainly focuses on teenagers, I'm pretty sure, because when I was looking it up, that's what it said, like he was a teenage motivational speaker. But uh when he was there too he said that he was hosting this one thing for adults to talk to them so like he can teach parents how to talk to their teenager. Um because you know, we're all crazy. We probably all have some weird thing with our parents. Some of us probably like our parents. Some of us don't. Some of us take out all our anger on Call of Duty. I don't know. I like my parents. I'm so fine I, with my parents. I feel bad for those people that don't like Carissa. Uh, His mom s refuses to talk to him. Some kids have their own thing with their parents. It's sad sometimes. I don't know. It's the child. Sometimes it's the parent. But I don't know. This is actually coming to the end. So, you know, like it last kill, I'm a boss like that. Oh, I was all weird. Anyway, thanks What's for listening. I don't even know. My final score is probably like 30 something and something. And like 10. Oh, see right there. It says 7th Prestige. Well, this was Summer PC. All right, see, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, 7th Prestige. Anyway, thanks for listening. Epic commentary leveled up like five times. Oh, my final score was 31 and 7. See, that's not too bad. Uh, motivational speakers, Josh Ship, Ship Happens. Thanks for listening, and that's replaying. Bye. <laughs> so, was that so hard?